Hello everyone, Emmylou here today. We're going to draw you a sloth. So all you need is paper, pencil. My paper's a bit messy today, but it's okay. I want to show you my book that's on Amazon. Um, if you want it, it's on the link below, but you can draw a meerkat, you can draw a giraffe, you can draw a lion. It's step by step. There's tons in there. And also it's colouring in, which I absolutely love. So if you want it and you're bored at home, just tell your parents it's on Amazon Fine Art Projects. Right, so we can do a sloth today. Pencil. Right. What you want to do is the head's going to go here. It's going to be really strange to draw this because he's all over the place with his big claws, but it's going to look cool. So what you want to do is round head. I'm doing him quite large just because it's easier for me to work out where to put everything. So he's got a round head and he's got this kind of nose that goes like this. It's kind of like, it's like a U shape and you want to put his nostrils in. Then you want to do, he reminds me of Yoda for some reason. Then you want to go line, line. So a little bit like under ba bags under your eyes. And then you want to go line, line. It's like, it's like half a rainbow. Then you want to draw your little, well, they're massive eyes, draw the big eyes in him. He's got two little big round eyes. I like doing this just because it looks like it's kind of got light on it. And then you want to do his mouth. His mouth's quite strange because it's kind of like that, but then he's got this beard. So what I might do is I'm just going to do... It's like dot to dot because I don't want it to look too obvious. So if you can't see it, you could just draw a light line. And he's got a little bit of a shadow there. He's got like hair. So if you can't draw this, just think about zigzags and light lines. I'm just trying to plan what he's got because he's got loads of different lines. Now his head isn't that round. So we have to just chop it off a bit like you're doing a three minute egg and you're eating it, you're eating it. So you wanna chop bit of that circle off and rub out the remaining bit of circle. Try not to rub out the actual thing. Then you want to just, you want to touch that bit there and you want to go down, then touch this bit there, go down. So it's like you're going wobbly wobbly and this bit's quite weird. You're going to go whoosh, can you see? It's like three lines. They make sense because a body is not just all straight. It's kind of like wobbly because he's really furry. And then we're going to touch about here. So not one, not two, but the third bit. We're going to go, ah! So this is going to be his arm. Then we're going to go round. So it's quite a chunky arm. We're going to go like that. Can you see it? It's like, then we're going to go down. Do not join it up. There's no need because it's in his fur. Then he's got these really, they're quite, they're quite pointy actually, if I'm honest. But you want free pointy, like proper long to really long kind of claws, I suppose you could call them, or nails. They're, they're to sort of climb up the tree really slowly. I feel like a sloth today because they move quite slowly, don't they? Okay, so now we want to do, whew, okay, I've got to work it out now. So touch this bit of the head there. We're going to go up, 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 up. Not all the way to the paper, just up like there. Then touch this bit there and you're going to float away till you get to about there. Doesn't matter if you're not there, but use your eyes. So just use your eyes to sort of judge it. Doesn't matter if it's not exactly where mine is. Then you want to go, oh, you're going to have to go, so it's like you're going, la, 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 la. now this gap that you've got, that's where you're going to do your big U shape, so you can do this, because this is his arm coming round, and here you've got these huge naily things, I'm sure they've got an actual word for them, and he's He's holding a bit of the tree, so whew, it's quite a lot to draw. 
Um, so, but don't worry, it's going to be fine. Now, what we want to do is he's going to be, his arm's going to go, you touch this bit there, and you're going to go all the way to there. Then he's got this little leg of his that's going to do this. Just do that. So it's just up, and then around, and then... Now, this might look strange, do not worry. We're going to do claws again. Not as if he looks too normal, is it? That type of animal. And then here we've got his other leg. Makes no sense, but what does right now? So it's fine. We're just going to touch here. So think about this bit. Touch there and you're going to go down. And then from here, you're going to go. Whoa. Now this is a great opportunity to go all the way down to your paper and then join it up. So you're joining him up. He is incredibly fluffy, as in he's very furry of long fur. I think he's got long fur. <laughs> so don't worry if it looks strange shape. His other leg's going over there and you can't really see it, so you don't have to add it in. If it looks odd, you could always do kind of that, if, if that helps you. You don't really need to, but if you want to and you prefer it, then go for that. Now he's got this little tail that does that. But if you think it looks really strange, you don't have to add it, don't worry. And now we're going to do where he's hanging, because he's hanging from a tree. So we're going to do this. We're going to go up there, draw a line. So you're drawing a straight line, and then another straight line. All this is the tree. Do you know what? I think I'm going to, I'm going to do this, just so you can, well, I don't really want to actually. Should I colour it in now? Do you know what? I colour it in just so you can see. This is a branch of a tree. So he's holding on to this bit. So that's your branch of your tree. Now the branch doesn't stop there, it goes all the way down. So float, 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 down. Touch that bit there, float, 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 down. So that's the rest of his little branch. So I'm going to colour it in just so it's a bit easier for you. If you're finding this super hard, it's probably the hardest one I've done, which is okay. If you're finding this hard, just pause the video, try and work it out step by step slowly. If it doesn't look exactly like mine, do not worry. It's a sloth, which means as long as it looks a little bit like that, it's fine. Um, now what I wanted to do was draw another, just try and look for the sloth picture that I've got. Oh yeah, that's what it is. His leg goes all the way down there. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Of course it does. Okay, now we're going to do, he's got real long fur, wow! So, what I want to do is go up here. We want to try and do it so his claws touch this tree thing. He's kind of in the jungle, chilling out. They generally chill out sloth, so... Just colour this in, just so you can see the branch. It could be a vine, a branch, doesn't matter. It could be green if you like. Right, okay. So it's almost like he's on a swing, just chilling out. Now his head, he looks like an Ewok, you know, Star Wars? So what we need to do is we need to colour him so he looks like that. What I would do is probably, you know where you've got that and that? I would rub out, I'd rub out the line that is there to there, and I'd love, rub out the line that's there to there. So if you don't understand that, you want that line there to here, and then that, it doesn't matter if you don't, if I'm honest, but it just makes it more easier to see. Now, to colour him in, <laughs> he just looks weird. to colour him in, I'm going to do dark brown. Sa I might do a sandy colour just because it's different and I'm going to have a go at, and you want a grey, so grey, sandy colour, brown. You do not need all three colours, you could just have light brown and a grey if you like. Okay, so now because I've not done this before, bear with me. <laughs> so what we want to do, I would first go around the whole thing and if you go around it a bit jaggedy, doesn't matter.
just on the face like that of the beard because it looks quite cool. So I'm almost doing it, not messy, but certainly not neat, is it? His claws are kind of yellowy. They're a bit like teeth, aren't they? I don't know what your teeth look like, <laughs> but they're kind of like the same thing, the teeth. Okay, so the face, let's have a look. We want a nose, really, that's black. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go all under here. Oh, he's got a beard. And then his whole head. It's like he's got hair. He looks really funny. Okay, there where his eyes are, go down. Oh, it's almost like he's crying, but he's not. He's very happy. Especially if he's chilling out here. Who wouldn't be? So there's a lot of brownness going on and that's fine. But then we want to do, I'm going to do like the yellowy thing through his claws. So do that as neat as you can. I'm doing it super fast just to get you through this so you can see. Now I'm going to get a bit of the yellowy colour and just do it here and there because he's not white really in many places. So you can do it any way you like. I'm doing it super fast bit of yellow he doesn't really have much yellow if I'm completely honest with you then we want a bit of grey bit of grey there he's, he's completely covered in hair so you could just colour the whole thing it doesn't have to be like this I'm just doing this a bit like maybe an adult would do it right now I'm going to smudge. This is what makes it look real, more realistic and less like possibly my brother at this point. No offence to my brother, but you know, he's got hair, hasn't he? You've got to take your time with it. It's quite a big project this is to draw. It's not, I should have done it smaller really because it's going to take me your lockdown's ended probably to finish it. <laughs> joking obviously but you want to just really blend take your time Oof. it's actually like a workout <laughs> oh, okay so smudge away don't give up if it's not looking how you want it do not worry because you'll probably end up colouring the whole thing just one brown, which will be absolutely fine. Oh, I'm going to attempt to do a racing car. And at some point, probably next week. So that'll be cool. Been asked to do that, so that'd be nice. Okay. Right. That is roughly what you want. He looks like a giant teddy bear, which is fine. But what we need now is black. Whoa, I feel, I feel quite warm. So we're going to do black. We're going to go eyes black and I'm going to leave a little bit of white. Because it always looks 3D and quite cool when there's a bit of white. So a bit of white. He's got like this nose. There. Definitely looks like something from Star Wars. He's got the mouth. His eyes that look like he's crying, but he's not. He's a happy one. You could um, pause the video if it's a little bit tricky to follow this, because I'm, I know I'm doing this kind of fast. I'm going to change the shape of his face a little bit. Add a bit of black here and there. It's nice to add black to show the shadow. I like a bit of black there. Bit of black there. He 
you've become my new best friend. <laughs> I just quite like him, he looks quite fluffy. I would say the um, twiggy thing would come down here. It'd go over this leg because he's twound, he's, he's twisted his leg around there, so that would look better. Now, he looks like a dog, which is fine. We want to just smudge away now, if you can. And just have a bit of fun with it. Please don't get angry with yourself. And I know it's easy to get frustrated and think, oh, it does not right. But it's all about practice. I did a paint in a day the other year and the improvement I made was just amazing. And I'm a lot faster now, which isn't always what you need, but depends if you're getting paid to do a project. So if I get paid to do a painting, you know, I've got to be a little bit faster than doing it really slow, if that makes sense. So I forgot the tail, my little tail. Right, this is George the Sloth. I mean, you could probably not include his tail, it doesn't matter. Probably looks a bit strange, isn't it? Just coming out of nowhere, but you could do a tail. Quite like to join that up so it's a bit more darker. So yeah, it's up to you, but there is my sloth. It's a little bit of an adult way, the way I coloured it in. So it might be a little bit tricky for you, but you know what? Have a go, just have a go, see how you feel. And um, send me your pictures, send me your pictures. Subscribe, share, let me know how you feel about what you're doing with your drawings. It'd be quite cool to add some leaves. I always lose what I need. Oh, it's green. Nearly lost the green. So these are these are obviously twigs, aren't they? They're um, branches. So you could do light green, but then half the leaf could be dark green, dark green and light green. It's quite nice. Ooh, there we are. So you could do that, couldn't you? And you could do one there. Ideally, they have a little stalk that goes with it, don't they? And when I say a stalk, I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean. So they have like a little bit like that, don't they? And then they kind of have a leaf, depending on what tree it is. A little sloth. Now I've overdone that leaf somewhat. So what you could do is create a whole rainforest. Oh, man. Create a whole rainforest and just do whatever you like with it. This leaf is like the the most straightest leaf I've ever drawn. So you could just do some more maybe. It's funny isn't it when you do something to a picture that you're just not that keen on but you've done it now so you think okay. So yeah you could add more. I'm gonna add a little thing there. But the secret is don't give up. If you get frustrated don't worry. Just do some more things that make sense to you. Do a little leaf. Ooh. And that is pretty much it. Give it a go. See what you think. And um, share with me. Let me know because it will be lovely to see what you do. Honestly, it just brightens up my day every time I receive the pictures. Okay. Have fun and let me know how you get on. I'm just tempted, <laughs> tempted to do a bit of spray around it again just because I like it. Oh, but it doesn't work. Right, never mind. Even though I was tempted, that's not going to happen. We could, though, we could do a little bit of blue paint. I'm only going to do this because I like to do fun things around my pitch. <laughs> But just bear, bear in mind you've got a floor in your house to take care of. Ooh, it's quite fun to do that. Now you, you want to do it so there's obviously, ooh, there's like a newspaper. I quite like going around him actually. So yeah, just have a bit of fun. I'm just doing anything now. I'm kind of like 
creating whatever I want. So have some fun with it. Cover the background if you want to. And yeah, let me know how you get on because I'm really excited to see how you get on with these. I would say this one is the most trickiest one I've ever shown you. Um, so yeah, be lovely to see what you create. Okay. All right, so have fun and I shall be drawing a racing car uh, next week. So yeah, see, oh, do you know what? I can't finish. You know when you just think I need a little bit more? <laughs> there we go. And it's kind of, I like the way it's dripping, which is kind of cool. Okay, I will see you next week or in the next video and enjoy your drawing. Lots of love.